Hey everybody, I'm back. This is the weekly report. And this might be coming in just a little bit late, and uh, big reason for that. Really big reason. Number one, uh, I ended up burning most of the day that I was going to be making a video on this because I came with just 100k of getting the new weed lock up, and I wanted to have some real, real real progress to show you guys to show you guys that it is not impossible to get to a higher point in gta to get that cool million that you want coming in every single week and uh just to give you a recap of last time we were sitting there talking we have this strategy going on or at least this theory of mine where sort of like the all creeks lead to a river and that river provides a cool million dollars but we've got little creeks coming in from everywhere we've got 200,000 coming from here 100,000 coming from there 500,000 coming from this side and they all form into a little creek which then or both all these little creeks they perform a little bit of a river which provides a certain amount of money every month or every blah, every month every week in GTA which then pools into our little bank account which is our little lake or ocean whatever you want to call it now, because of this, I, like I said, this video is coming out late because I am close to a weed lockup. Yeah, that's right. Old Badger has finally got the weed lockup. Now, I don't have any money to show for it uh, to get this weed lockup. All I can tell you is that I spent a majority of the time this last week running product, which I'll show you here in a minute how much product I actually moved. In order to reach the area that I went to. We also, I, did, I didn't spend it on just nothing. I did spend it on a couple of, I did splurge a bit. It's not like I, I'm like being a popper saving every single dime I got. Just so I can sit back there and say, well, uh, I've, I've got a business now, but i got nothing else to show for it. No, we have, I have two bikes, my Hexer and a Lost MC Damien that I did upgrade fully. Both of them, no problem. I have a, another bike I did some upgrades to, just for the fun of it. And at the same time, I also uh, upgraded the local business. So what we're so gonna, here we are at the first little business that I acquired last week, which is the Document Forgery. You can see right there we've done a total of six sales. And like I said, we had a few hiccups with uh, <laughs> the last couple of ones. You do, it is a good idea to have a couple of friends helping you out. At the very least, which is why I said doing the MC missions will keep people in your group. But uh, yeah, total earnings this week was $551,100, which a vast majority of that, plus everything I got from my MC missions, was probably an equal amount, which means we probably made about a million dollars. Most of that was used to buy upgrades for the business right now. So you can see here we have security upgrade and staff upgrade. That's all I've done in the past week now i was going to get the equipment upgrade but then i got to thinking about it i can pull at least in one week with me working two hours on this game a day about uh three deliveries a week which is not bad but then i got to looking at it you know if i pull three deliveries a week i can have almost a million dollars which will make doing this right here buying the equipment upgrade no well, you like no biggie. So, yeah, <laughs> it's been fun. But this, this, these two upgrades have really helped. I haven't had any problems with the police on this business at all. I don't know if I ever will. But then uh, my staff upgrade has also helped me out in making this stock worth more. Like I said, uh, everybody just left the building for some reason. But like I said, this is this little business right here helps creating a, a little bit better environment so let's go and head on out and look at the weed lockup see what you guys think of that thing because i just bought that now, here we are with the weed lockup and uh, the weed lockup is <sighs> has, it, has it made anything yet because <laughs> that's that's how close to the wire i was on saturday saturday is when i'm doing this video saturday is when this video should be out so some of y'all should be able to see this weekly business report I'm going to try and keep these coming out on on Saturdays, by the way, that anyone wanting to know. Now, uh, I haven't bought 
anything. I, I don't need to resupply anything, as you can see right here. We also have uh, um, no earnings, no total sales. As I said, we haven't really done much of anything with it. Um, as far as upgrades go, they are a little pricey. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do both businesses at the same time. Because with two runs, I'll have everything I need to get the former business that we bought, the Document Forgery, to get its last equipment upgrade. So it would be making just a little bit more money. But then over here, in one run, I'll have staff upgrade and then security upgrade for this building. So it will probably, we'll probably be banking in enough cash to cover all of this stuff within the week. So all this should be covered. And then it'll be me working towards equipment upgrades and things of that nature to get this business up to the same level as the document forgery over there. But as I said, I've been buying all of these all these over in Sandy Shores area. So and grapeseed. So all my businesses are consolidated in one area. They're also cheaper in this area. It's a little bit longer drive, but I kind of have this superpower on the game. It's not really a superpower. I have shitty internet. So every so often, people will just randomly get kicked out of the lobby. I mean, I'll completely... The whole lobby will just get completely knocked out. And what happens is I actually lag out and jump from our lobby that I'm in to a private lobby. But I still have access to all my like, all this stuff over here. All these businesses and stuff. I still operate. So I basically have a San Andreas to myself at that point, the entire state. But, yeah, this is where we're going right now. And this is where everything's going, so I guess we'll head on back to the MC and uh, you guys can look at my beautiful face a little bit more while I sit there and flatten my jaws for you. So, yeah, folks, that's what it looks like when you do a little bit of decent hard work. Now, right now, I just want to let you all know that this is decent hard work that I am doing on this game. But it is a method to just constantly keep flowing money into your account, stay on, stay mobile, and stay operational. It also keeps guys in your MC because as you're doing those missions, those MC missions, and I'll, I'll do a video on the MC missions at some point in time, showing you all where they are, how they operate, because you can do some of them by yourself, but there's a few of them that require at least another person. And you'll all get paid a percentage by, I, I don't even know how it works, probably by participation or something. I'll figure all that out by the time we get there. But yeah, like I said, we got our little snowball rolling last week, and this week our snowball got bigger, much bigger. We're now banking close to, if I'm correct, with all the money coming in, on a ballpark figure at the very least, $300,000 compared to our $100,000 and other lockups and stuff are worth, really we just have to do that like three times and we have enough for another lockup, but I can upgrade these and use the money from both of them to finish off all the upgrades I need for my lockups and everything else. So yeah, it's one of those nice, gingerly little days. And you saw all the upgrades that I did to the document forgery, because that has, that has really helped out, really. <clears throat> Having about an extra $100,000 coming out of nowhere that just builds itself while I'm working just helps out. I know some people say it's a worthless business, but for those of y'all starting out, you might find that's pretty effective having an extra hundred K every so often. Just all you got to do is a mission, get another hundred thousand dollars. And if I'm lucky, I'll be up to about 140,000 on that once I get it fully upgraded. But as usual, folks, this is my weekly business report. Week two of us going around here in GTA, getting to road on our little road to riches going on here. And I am tired and sick. And I <laughs> ask you for you guys apology. Uh, as usual, stay fresh, stay frosty, and just remember, there ain't nothing wrong with being greedy. Just means you play smarter while everybody else is playing harder. I'll see you guys next time.